nightfall. <coughs> Let me tell you a few things about Gotham City. It has a population of 7.5 million. It boasts the tallest example of neo-Gothic architecture in North America, which you're suspended from, by the way. It has the largest percentage of sociopathic criminals in any metropolitan conurbation, so you're strictly small fry. And it's got me. No, please! I can't take the hype! You must be from out of town, or you'd know better than to mug tourists at the Founders' Day Parade. No, mister! You can watch it from here till the police arrive. Hope the wire holds good. That was an old batarang. Police estimate a million Gothamites are lining the streets for the annual Founders' Day Parade, Mike. Well, Sherry, the city loves a good time. Only 40 muggings and three deaths reported in the last half hour. We've just been watching the... Gotham County the Brotherhood is finished, Thomas! I will find you before you find me! But we have found you, Leha. Hide though you might. The vengeance of Azrael is upon you. The hour is come. I am half a world away from you, freak of nature. Even Azrael's sword cannot stretch. You know that men call you liar. Know that men call you betrayer. Know that men call you defiler. Therefore, it is the duty of the angel Azrael to bring you punishment. You will die by the blade of fire. I do not think so, Mr. Angel. You dare threaten Azrael with a firearm as if bullets could harm him. To me, Mr. Angel, it seems as if they have done a great deal of harm. A sword? Armor? This is the 20th century, and you will now die! A fall is as good as a bullet. For after you perishes the Brotherhood. Dr. Flanders? Dr. Jeremiah Arkham? Come in. They are eating now. It'll be quiet for a while. You read my manuscript. You'll give me a recommendation. I've read enough to want to show you this part of the institution. I didn't make notes, but when I surrendered my clothes at security, they kept my pen. There's no pockets in these old walls. There are no zippers either. Nothing made of metals allowed in here. We've learned from experience, Dr. Privilege I'm about to share with you. Pardon? Welcome to hell, Dr. Flanders. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, what the? Who? Father! But you're supposed to be in Europe. His clothes. I am dying, my son. It is your turn. You're bleeding. Gotham University has a doctor out. No doctor. Uh, no one must know of Azrael. Azrael? What's Azrael? I was, like my father before me, as you are now. But I don't understand. Listen. What? Listen. Abandon my body to be found by strangers. What? Then fly home. But there is a package for you there with instructions. <laughs> When you find Nomos, you want to explain everything. I have failed. Nomos? <laughs> but promise me you will not. Father! Reports say 14 people were injured and... Riots are not usually what you concern yourself with, Master Bruce. Four were killed, including Sherry Port. Ah, uh, yes, the television personality. You knew her. Bruce Wayne knew her. Warning, lock access to Batcave open. And liked her. That cave secured. Witnesses say that an angel dropping from the sky started to panic. Then, in the mess that followed, the angel vanished. Uniform store open. Vanishing angels and sudden death. I retract my earlier statement. It is exactly the sort of thing you concern yourself with. A couple of other items, Alfred. Maybe related, maybe not. Scanner on. Scanner on. One. A cop found this in an alley a block away from the riot site. A Kevlar vest. Obviously not as bulletproof as advertised, judging by its condition. Your cowl, sir. Mm. Two. Carlton Lee owns a penthouse apartment directly above the site of the parade incident. Time for a little detective work. I'm afraid I'm not acquainted with Mr. Lee You're not alone. He's a money man with no past. He traffics in exotic arms and ammunition, computer-controlled rockets, laser-guided missiles, Teflon-coated bullets. The kind that can penetrate armored vests. Gives us a couple of tentative conclusions. Look at the blood on that vest. Witnesses say the angel survived that fall, staggered off into the crowd. 
Imagine the willpower it took for him to keep going. What kind of man is he? No one on earth is better qualified than you to answer that question. Car door. Ignition sequencing. Engaging turbofans. You better have the Learjet fuel just in case. I dare not ask if I finally to have a holiday, sir. Leha took a Swiss air flight to Lucerne this morning. His arms operation is based in Europe. I intend to make sure he keeps it there. The police department doesn't need an arsenal like that on the streets. Yeah, neither do you. Door closed. Perhaps it will be prudent to pack immediately. I have to find my thermal underwear. You flew back to Europe as your father, Azrael, directed. Only 24 hours ago, you were a graduate student at Gotham University. Now you are a guest in a foreign land with no notion of why you are here. Who are you? I am no more your new teacher. You will learn the system. The system? The... What did you do that for? Why not strike me back? You can, if you are not weak. I wouldn't hit a door. Sorry. My body is crooked. I am older than you can imagine. Your father never told you he was a member of a secret organization dating back to the 14th century. That he killed 11 men and two women in cold blood. That he was a liar and a failure. The Swiss Alps by helicopter. The noise does rather distract from the view. Our dead knight in Gotham City, the fallen angel tossed his sword into a dumpster in the alley behind Leha's apartment block. It bore an insignia I asked Oracle to look up for me. She traced it back to this village. And this is the direction in which Leha was seen heading for in a hired chopper earlier today. This is the sigil, the seal of our order, the emblem your father and his ancestors bore upon their weapons as avenging angels. Seeking out and destroying those who betrayed the trust of their fellow members. Gaze into the sigil. Unlock the hidden training your father gave you. Know what you already know. I am Jean Paul Valley, heir to the sword of Azrael. I bend my will to avenge those members of the Order of Saint Dumas betrayed by their fellows. My life is as nothing. I serve in the robe of the Avenging Angel. I am Azrael. I am Azrael. Ah! The horror! That was pretty funny. You think so? Will the swords bite and use you? No! <laughs> An accurate kick. How did I do that? How did I know to do that? Your father did his work well. Is it possible this Order of St. Dumas still exists? That somehow Leha, the arms dealer, has a beef with them? I think it's very possible, sir. I can see him now directly below us. And he appears to be aiming a rocket launcher at the chalet. We're too close! Have sent to me. He's finished. I have destroyed the dwarf nobles and his apprentice. Azrael is no more. I am free, free. Quickly, out before the fuel tank goes up. I'm with you, Master Bruce. Oh. Oh. What is this place, nobles? Quiet. There should be no aircraft in this valley. Someone attacked us. Look, a week ago, I was a student at Gotham University. Now I'm holed up in the cellar of a medieval Swiss monastery learning to be a hired killer. What sort of religion is this? There is no time. We must leave. Explain things! Now! Good. Good. Huh? Our order, the followers of St. Thomas, broke away from their religious establishment about 600 years ago. We had much wealth from our years in the Crusades. Wealth we had husbanded until it was, is, vast. This man who murdered my father, this Leia. He was that treasure, but proved unstable. You call this stable? He became greedy, looted our accounts. He built an arms business for himself, and by trading in death, he found cause to desert Saint Dumas for the worship of a dark spirit. The demon lord, Pierce. Now 
you will become my Sahel, PSC's greatest foe. Le Havre will kill you, or die trying. He's out there now. I must face him. I'm afraid we will not reach civilization before darkness, Master Bruce. And then... Take my Parker, put it over your own. It may help. Me? Into the ranks of the unemployed after you perish of the cold? Out of the question. I have another suit. The one I always wear when there's a possibility of meeting serious bad guys. And this is the heated model. You're a shining example to Boy Scouts everywhere, Master Bruce. Demon. It is the demon himself. What the... Wait, I'm not sure. Look at the mask, the horns, the winged cape. It is him, garbed as the demon. Put on the face of Azrael and cut him down. Sir, that lad's costume bears some resemblance to the description of Gotham's fallen angel. You don't think... Uh, I don't have time to think. He means business. Demon, you invade the sacred estates of the Order of St. Duma. The angel Azrael is come to mete out punishment. I believe your uniform has led to some small confusion. You will die by the blade of fire. Sir, look out. You have offended the Order of St. Dumas. Your life is forfeit to Azrael. That does it. You are the demon's servant. You got the wrong guy. No, Moss, I don't think this is Leia. Who can tell under that mat? I think we deserve an explanation, young man. What is your name? I... It's, uh... I can't remember. And who are you? Why are you here? We're from the United States. We follow Lehi here to Switzerland. I don't know what your argument is with him. But I believe he killed a man in Gotham City. A man dressed not unlike our young friend here. My father! He killed my father! He believes us dead. Apart from myself, he was the only other alive with the list of names and residences of members of the Order of St. Thomas. To consolidate our funds to his own use, he would slay them all, one by one. Do you know where he would strike first? Of course. Dupont, my deputy. But he is ill, sick in hospital in New York. Then we've got to get there in a hurry. Back shortly with your medication, Mr. DuPont. Buzz if you need me. Yes, Nelson. Who is that? Orderly? DuPont? The Lord Bees summons you to hell. Leah, no. No! Liar! Betrayer! Defiler! It is the duty of the angel Azrael to bring you punishment! Azrael! Suffer the fate of all who oppose the Lord be! Oh. You were lucky to manage a soft landing, young man. Alfred, be careful! Lay us in there! Not anymore. He's escaping in that ambulance. I must... Avenge my father! Ah, my master is certainly attempting to bring his killer to justice, though I'm not sure he'll catch that vehicle on foot. That's your master? But before he was dressed as the Batman. Ah. Ah. Pull over, pal! You're under arrest! Not where your clip is so precarious, Inter Ah! You have been following me! You, the English man and the dwarf's apprentice! Oh! The dwarf! And the angel Azrael still live? This cannot be permitted. Thus you will draw them to me. And I shall sacrifice you all to the demon Lord Fierce. I grow impatient, Mr. Bruce Wayne. You were mistaken in attempting to arrest me. But then, of course, you were sent, sent. My Lord B.A. sent you as a hostage to bring the dwarf normals and his young novice to me. And because of who you are. Really? And who am I? Gotham City's famous millionaire. A rich fool who spends his indolent life watching others increase his fortune. Long I have coveted your power. Tell me how I can gain control of the Wayne Millions. Your industrial power base, Wayne Corp. I want the levers of your power. Talk or die! 
Leia owns an oil refinery just a mile from here. If he's holding your master hostage, Alfred, that's probably where they are. I don't know who I'm more concerned about, you, young man, or my master. What do you mean, Alfred? Drive me faster. We cannot let Leia escape the wrath of Azrael. As soon as the lad puts on that executioner's mask, his thoughts are not his own. Azrael does not think. Azrael punishes. Perhaps this Azrael does both. Talk, damn you! How can you resist me? Neither torture nor the true serum will loosen your tongue. Sign of a misspent youth. Leia! Know that men call you traitor! Know that men call you betrayer! Know that men call you defiler! Therefore, it is the duty of the angel Azrael to bring you punishment! Azrael! I killed you once. I can kill you again! Oh, no. The oil pipes. The flaming sword. Infidel traitor! Lad, you must do something. Master Bruce is trapped. That costume will protect you. Rescue him. Oh. Asriel does not rescue. Asriel avenges. Come, our work here is finished. No! Oh. Wait! Wait, it cannot be! Master Bruce! I'm okay. You disobeyed. You disgrace your mission as an angel of vengeance. I am not an angel. I am a man. What's your name, boy? My name is Jean Paul Valley. That was my father's name, too. You will forever be possessed by the system, by the Order of Saint Duma. Perhaps I can use it for good. I'd like to return to Gotham City with you, Mr. Wayne, or should I use your other title? I'm willing to help you try, Jean Paul. Anything can happen in Gotham City. I think we're about to prove that anything can happen in Gotham City, gentlemen. In fact, I'd like to propose a toast. To the new syndicate. <laughs> Here's the law and order in Gotham City. Whatever the laws, we give the orders. <laughs> to proceed, to proceed with business. Your business is with me, Novak. But tell me about the Batman. Drop those pieces, boys, and a hawk will come for your eyes. The Batman, what's he to you? I am going to kill him. So, uh, you and me should be partners, right? Like you were partners with my friend, Bart. Hey, Jimmy, long time no see. Hey, uh, Birdie Colosimo, I, I heard you was in some Caribbean jail. Uh, I was, that's where I met Bane. What's this guy got to do with me? Bane is different, Jimmy. He was born in jail. He watched his mother die in there. But he survived, survived everything, even the medical experiments. Left them with special needs. When you double crossed me on that Colombian deal, I ended up in that joint. Found the place was ruled by Bane. Found him hungry to learn. So I taught him about the USA, Gotham City. Showed him how he could rule this city like he ruled that jail. By pulling down the wise guys like you, who think they run it. By screwing up the authorities. By taking out the Batman. And believe me, Bane can do these things because he's got venom. Venom? What's venom? It's the ultimate steroid and it's pumped direct into his brain. <laughs> Time. To bait the trap. Time for something that will bring the Batman to us. So long, Jimmy. <laughs> no! No! Oh, oh! Be it full of quaint old custom, you can't beat our asylum. Quiet number 21. Why don't you come through and make me? Oh, I forgot. Physical force against inmates by guards is strictly not allowed. Arkham Asylum Rule 48 subsection D. Who made these rules anyway? Prisoners are not allowed sharp objects. Where's the fun in that? I want a sharp object. Come on, sucker. I'm bored. You won't be so funny once you're back out on the streets, fella. Oh, my. Do I detect a veiled threat? I hear there's a new big bad guy out there, name of Bane. Got a big drug habit, too. Some kind of super steroid. I'm betting he's gonna knock you other creeps right on your collective butt. Don't you threaten me. Only Batsy gets to do that. <laughs> Computer on. Computer on. Load by a diagnosis program. 
Program loaded. Physical examination Batman dated April 11th. Recent physical abuse by third parties has led to significant metabolic imbalance and epidermal scar tissue deterioration. Rest and rehabilitation strongly recommended for a period not less than three months. Warning. Clock access to Batcave open. Tim Drake to see you, Master Bruce. Bruce? I'm back. Tim, welcome back. We should celebrate. Alfred? I'll send out for something suitable, sir. We appear to be right out of uh, junk food. Batcave secured. How was the world tour? Learned a lot. Want to see? Sure, Can what? I... Oh. Could have done that to you a couple of months back. Yep. It's time, isn't it? Time for me to put on the uniform. To join you. Out there. No. Not yet. You're not ready. Come on, Bruce. You need me. It's not that straightforward, Tim. You're a smart kid. You made the connection between Batman and Bruce Wayne. Something I made sure was almost impossible. But that doesn't give you the right to claim partnership. Bruce... I'm in a unique position to help you. Because your father's estate backs onto mine? Because I did what you told me. I learned from the masters who taught you. I've had two partners already. Dick Grayson left to become Nightwing. I hardly see him anymore. Jason Todd was killed by the Joker. This time I'll need to be sure. You'll have to prove you're ready. Allow your skills to mature. Share them with Jean-Paul Valley. You both have potential, but you must learn to exercise patience. Bat signal shining over the city. I'll catch you later. Car door. But Bruce, I am ready. I can be Robin. I'm ready. And that is the bat signal. The searchlight's mounted up there on top of the police building. Look, you can just see the police commissioner by the parrot. See? With the mustache. I can kill him. Somebody can come with me. No truck. We follow Bane's orders. Be quiet. What is it, Burn? Hear that? It's his car. <laughs> That's a car. That's him. Run it down for me again, Bullock. Right, room full of mooks with handguns gets chopped to itty bitty pieces by person to person's unknown. New talent working for the mob? Uh, could be. There's talk on the street, name like Shane Bane, something like that. We'll meet in my office tomorrow. Get off home, Harvey. Right, thanks, Commissioner. Come on, where are you? If this were a mob killing... No! Oh! Oh! Give an old man a break, you startled me. Jimmy Novak was shouldering his way into extortion and unions. Well, what about this other character, Bane or whatever? We should eliminate the obvious first. Who's trying to buy the Teamsters? That would be the Manklin brothers. They're mean enough for a job this ugly. They have a social club over by the waterfront on Peterson. But I need more than a suspicion to get a warrant. Not that it ever stopped. You! Damn it, I wish he'd let me finish a sentence before leaving. The winged creature of the nine. We take him now? Gotham City is ours. No, he is not like the others. This one will take finesse. This one requires talent. This one is mine. I could have taken the car. But I'd miss the stars. The night air rushing past me. The silent rooftops and the... Wait a moment. Somebody following me. Impossible, surely. Night vision on. Nothing visible. Too many extractor vents on this roof to read body heat. Huh. Your senses are sharp, creature of the night. But you do not employ means to sharpen them further, as I do. How much would it take to break you? I shall relish finding out. You're Jean-Paul Valley. I'm your trainer. But you're Robin? You were expecting someone else? Well, the Batman said... Oh, what's this? Your training outfit. Not as spiffy as your Asriel does, maybe. But this is for undercover work. While you're putting that stuff on, I'll show you how I picked the lock to your apartment. Lock? And after that, we'll do a little rooftop surveillance. Commissioner, you're working late? 
<sighs> what is it, Montoya? Oh, I just got a call in. Prowler seen on a rooftop at the waterfront. Sounds like someone's snooping around the Macklin Brothers joint. Huh? You want we should send a squad car to investigate? Send a squad car, but one is all we'll need. I wouldn't be surprised if that was a friend of ours doing a little detective work. Mm, the Batman. Although he's normally careful not to be seen. Then again, he seemed awfully tired to me when we spoke earlier. I never allow our relationship to turn personal, but tonight I was sorely tempted to tell him to take a vacation for once in his life. Hey! Who turned out the light? Is it the cops? It's just one guy. No way! There's two of them! Hey, whoever you are, nobody takes out the cops in their own. Chuck! Dougie! Did you guys fall down and hurt yourselves? Hold it! I see you, pal! Dark and used quick, but I got 14 more shots. Nobody's that quick. Drop the gun or I'll hurt you. Who turned out the lights? Uh, you did, dude. Put it back on, huh? Get out of here fast. Your life is in danger. I'm going. Yeah. Uh, somebody! Somebody got me by the neck! Night lenses. You do not kill. Ah. That is strange. A creature cloaked in nightmare. A figure of terror in a city of terror, and you do not kill. You're not with the Macklins. You're not with anyone I know. Who are you? I am Bane. It is a name you will scream for mercy. You're threatening me? Get in line. You will scream it as this one does. No. <laughs> Share his fate. You will scream my name. My God. Jim Gordon? It's the Batman. Get an ambulance over to the Macklin Brothers' place on Peterson. I've got a man here with a broken back. Good afternoon, Mr. Bruce Wayne. Dr. Consolving. How do you do? Please, call me Chandra. Did you say Mr. Drake referred you to me? Uh, no, his son, Tim. Being, uh, well, neighbors, we see quite a bit of each other. You said that you were feeling exhausted, Mr. Wayne. Have you tried complete rest? I guess relaxation is an art that's lost on me. I guess I'm just driven. You need to find your way back to what bugs you deep inside. I have my own intuitive method. First of all, you sleep. And I'm prescribing you a homeopathic restorative to take before you have some very early nights. Lousy, stinking paint! Brown paper, paint paper! Black paper! What you got against green paper? Police are warning members of the public not to approach this guy. No, the green scaly skin condition isn't catching, but he possesses enormous strength. Since those pictures came in, he's made his way into Midtown Gotham, with the police still keeping their distance. Who is he, Bird? Killer Croc? He's a freak, Bane, with the mother of all skin problems. But like they say, he's strong. He used to wrestle alligators before he decided to become Gotham's new crime lord. Mm. Thought he was strong enough to take out the Batman. Mm. Thought it would prove his worthiness to lead. Came real freaking close, too. Then maybe it is time to prove my worthiness. Yeah. I will take out this killer croc. And then I will succeed where he failed. Against Batman. <laughs> Alfred! Alfred! Whoa, some place Bruce has got here. Uh, Master Timothy, I got your call, but it's no good. Master Bruce is unavailable. Unavailable? Killer croc's on the rampage. We gotta do something. Quite impossible. Master Bruce is under doctor's orders to catch up on all the sleep he's lost. And while we both know he could fight his way through anything to get out of that bed, doing so now would be the worst thing possible. But failing to show against Killer Croc, it's like an open invitation to all the weirdos in Gotham City. There's only one Batman, and he needs time to rest and recuperate. Yeah, but they don't know that. What do you mean? We better get down to the cave, Jean-Paul. There isn't a lot of time. Now, now, Master oh. Bruce. Oh, dear, dear. Even when he's oh. ordered to rest the same nightmare every night. Oh, give him the pearls, Mom. He just wants your... And oh. if he knew what was happening tonight oh. in his name, I wonder if he'd ever rest again. Oh. This costume, it feels as though it could have been made for me. Don't get too attached to it, John Paul. 
The owner doesn't know you're giving him an outing. And if you must talk, remember to try and sound like him. What's in these pouches? Don't touch the utility belt. It's full of fancy stuff. Just use your smarts and stick by me. Let's go. Hey, my boy! When are you gonna make the call on the clock? I wanted to avoid shooting Mr. Green Jeans, Harvey. You know, it only makes him mad. This thing's sad. He's totally out of his swamp. Wait a minute. What is it? Over there on that rooftop. It's Batman. No, wait, it can't be. There's two people up there. It's Batman, all right. But I haven't seen the kid in months. What kid? Probably. Better than ever, too. Bring him on! Show yourself! All right, hold it. Uh, <clears throat> hold it right there. Can it, will you, Jean-Paul? I'll do the talking. Come here, bat thing. Time for your punishment. Demon, oh. prepare to confess yourself. You'll face the avenging angel, Azrael. Jump up. Batman, cut it out. His mind conditioning as Azrael is kicking in. This may have been a bad idea. You will pay for your transgressions. <laughs> Robin, what happened? You screwed up good. Shoot! Who is this? No, you are not him. And who the hell? I came to destroy the Killer Croc. I thought his madness might bring the Batman out of hiding. But you are not the Batman. Uh-uh. I shall destroy him anyway. And you shall tell the Batman how easily it was done. Fueled by venom. That thing on his arm. The pipes lead around to the back of his head. He's pumping himself full of some kind of drug. Huh, so you got some button blows up like a balloon. I ain't impressed. You are too ugly to hit. So we will try this. Oh, you broke my arm. No. Boy, you tell the real Batman what you saw here tonight. Tell him what awaits him. He will scream for mercy. Yep, I'll remember that. Meat Wagon just took the croc up to Gotham General. Both arms broken. Uh, but I don't know if it was Batman who did it. Sure as heck not his usual M.O. And you think Robin is back, Harvey? It's been such a long time uh, since... Put it this way, Commissioner. The kid was wearing a red vest with a gold letter R on it and a cape. Not exactly the outfit he used to wear, maybe. But too close for the Easter Bunny, if you catch my drift. Uh, go type up your report. I'll wait up here another five minutes. All right. There it is, Jean-Paul, the next roof. And there's Gordon, waiting for us. And I should still pose as the Batman? Bruce wouldn't want to let him down. Maybe, if you hang back and stick to the shadows, Gordon will... Gordon huh? will know. Batman, I... You I'm... might fool others, but not him. Thanks for your help, Hasriel. I'll handle it from here. <laughs> I better go change. I'll... I'll catch you later. As for you... Are you gonna chew me up for wearing this suit without permission? Depends on what you've learned. Let's see how you do with Batarang in line first. Come on, Robin. Batman? Sorry I'm late, Commissioner. You remember Robin? Uh, Robin, good. Good to have you back. Good evening, Commissioner. Well, his manners have improved. The signal. What have you got for me? Got a lousy riddle. It came with the usual extortion demand. Mm. What crowns just one but beats a dozen? Bim, bam, boom. Some percussion. You check this for fingerprints? Yes. They belong to Edward Nigma. Edward Nigma? The Riddler. Edward Nigma. Enigma. I get it. That's really dumb. No sense in drawing attention to ourselves now you're here. I'll switch the signal. Oh, here. Uh, they've gone. <laughs> what did I say about manners? Stupid system, that bad signal. Anyone with any knowledge of electronics could eavesdrop on them. He moved differently, slower, almost in pain. And whatever is wrong with him, it is the reason he sent an imposter to confront Killer Croc. But Killer Croc was nothing. And this Riddler... Ah! I'm going to solve this riddle first. And when I find this Riddler, I'm going to pump him up. Car door. Bane seemed all pumped up somehow. And there were these, like, features in the back of his helmet. Injecting some kind of chemical directly into his brain? Yeah. Making him one angry dude. And he's sharp, too. He knew John Paul wasn't you. Saw through him right away. As if he'd figured it out. Figured what out? Well, there's something, you know, wrong with you. Nothing's wrong with me, Robin. Now I have work to do. You'll have to make your own way home. What? I've got to track down the Riddler. You're not ready to face major league criminals. Not but, yet. 
go home. Hey, great. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> Speed, 52 miles per hour. Reducing to limit. Exiting downtown Goodwin Freeway. Hard to focus on the riddle when I'm trying to fight off this fatigue. Computer, read me back the text of the extortion note. What crowns just one, but beats a dozen? Bim, bam, boom. Some percussion. What crowns one, but beats a... Course reversed. Now heading north toward Gotham Central. Caution, vehicle is over speed limit. Activating forward safety radar. What crowns one but beats a dozen? The clock tower on top of number one Gotham Plaza. The belfry crowning City Hall. <laughs> Bim, bam, boom, some percussion. In five minutes and still no sign of the Batman. Such bad manners to be late after all the trouble I've taken. Still, it's a good idea to quit the Belfry before... Stay perfectly still, Riddler. Here is an enigma for you. Oh! Oh! Good. Oh! Who are you? Breathe deeply. Venom works more quickly in oxygenated blood. What's happening to me? Oh, the effect will wear off in a few hours. And then you are nothing again. Oh. Mm hmm? Midnight! The countdown's begun! You're losing your touch, Riddler. It usually takes me a good half hour to solve your stupid... Ah! Batman, you were almost too late! On the last bong, at the stroke of midnight, this whole building will go... Boom! You're using something, aren't you? Aha! Regular dynamite! You can't beat it! Come on! Come on. Well, I got to put him down long Come enough on. to stop the bomb. <laughs> this bell might do it. <laughs> Only one chime to go. Got to stop the clapper hitting the hour bell. The mechanism is too strong. Can't, can't, can't hold it. The wires parted. Huh? Bombs were never my strong point. Hey, Batman! Huh? This is how you really riddle the Riddler. Do it, Trog. Riddler, get down! Oh. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Message for you, Bats. If you think the Riddler on Venom was hard to beat, wait till you meet someone raised on the stuff. <laughs> so long. Pain. The Riddler uh, is just a pawn in his game of strategy. Uh, but what's the master plan? Where will all this end? Repeat. This is Gotham City Armory Emergency Line to the Police Department. Pack me through, somebody, for Pete's sake. We have a full-scale assault taking place here. Good morning, Master Bruce. I didn't hear you come in last night. I'm sure you'll only pick, but I've made you a full breakfast. Oh, Alfred? Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Oh, oh. This will not do, Master Bruce. That costume is not to be worn above basement level in this house. It's one of the first rules we agreed on. Huh? I suggest you spend more time dealing with Bruce Wayne's affairs and less on your nocturnal activities. I'm certain Wayne Enterprises could stand a visit from its proprietor. Yes. Maybe you're... Oh, right. Mm. Dr. Kinsolving did prescribe sleep. You little punk! Why I gotta keep... Listen, good-looking! Uniform's got an R on it! Capiche? Stands for... Robin! How are you doing, Asriel? And we rounded up the whole gang! Hey, buddy! Vengeance is mine! You will pay for your transgression! I am the Avenging Angel, Asriel! What do you do that for? We're not killers! Oh no. I lost control. I was gonna murder him. Oh. Hey! You didn't. No. For now. That's something. Whew. Heck, that's why we're out busting these small fry mooks. Bruce wants me to teach you what I know. Help you to overcome that mind control thing. Maybe I can never change. The programming runs too deep. The system, uh... it got to me when I was a child. That's bull! A crisis situation develops and I react. You'll get a handle on it. 
That man believes in you. So do I. It's like an ordnance inventory for World War III, Commission. Harvey's not exaggerating, Commissioner. Automatic assault rifles, anti-personnel mines, heavy machine guns, fragmentation grenades. Yeah, excuse me. Even a few crates of shoulder launch stinger missiles. Yeah, yeah. The only bright side seems to be that nobody was hurt. Not yet. Something tells me there's a body count to come. You think those munitions were stolen for domestic use, Montoya? Commissioner, that was a truckload of real exotic weaponry. And right now, it's loose on our streets. We got a warehouse full of artillery, Bane. How do you want to move against the Batman? I've stopped toying with him, Bird. It's time to unleash his worst nightmare. Yeah. To undo his very life's work itself. Fetch me the blueprints of Arkham Asylum. Arkham? You really gonna do it? It was your suggestion. A simple idea, but uniquely effective. Oh, yes. We cracked that shell, and believe me, the nuts will fly. Real shot, John Paul? Long hair doesn't suit the image I want to project. Asriel's gonna join the respectable people. Something like that. I've got to shape up. You know, you could lighten up, JP. You'd make a swell crime fighter if you could lose the urge to kill the criminals. Just cut the hair, Robin. I'll deal with this in my own way. Arkham Asylum. Take you back to the jail on Santa Prisca, boys? <laughs> Quiet, talent. It's like on the blueprints, babe. The old building there, the original Elizabeth Arkham Asylum, is mainly administrative. The modern part off the back is the roundhouse. The circular building with no windows. Those are the violent wards, Trog. Those will be our target. Zombie, Trog, bring the rocket launchers. Bart, where did you dump the other weapons? Two caches are sitting just near where we blow the perimeter fence. They're bound to find the gap, and then... They can help themselves to arms and ammo. <laughs> Good. Let's move on. <laughs> Tranquilizer dart, which hit the Riddler, contains substance identified as super steroid drug, originally produced under the name Venom. It renders subject immensely strong and increases aggression. Computer stop analysis. Yes, Bruce Wayne speaking. It's Shondo Kinsolving, Mr. Wayne. I like to think of myself as pretty hot stuff in the field of holistic medicine. But if one session with me has resulted in your total recovery from exhaustion, I want to tell the world about it. Uh, the herbal restorative was very helpful. It did seem to relax me. Hmm, good. We ought to build on that start. I'll call you later to arrange a date if you like. I'd, uh, I'd like that very much, Dr. Consolving. Chandra. Right. Thank you, Chandra. I appreciate your calling. And it's Bruce. All part of the service. But listen. Bruce, get some rest. You can't function without it, okay? Rest, right. Uh, thanks, Chandra. Goodbye. Rest. I'll need more of it than you know. I face a man whose blood supply is replenished by the ultimate performance enhancer. Venom. You don't want to go straight back into the restraints now, do you? Listen, pal, the trouble with you is that you think I suffer from insanity. You're wrong. I enjoy every minute of it. I ain't got time for this. Take a nap. It'll make the time pass quicker. Oh, that's a good one. The judge sentenced me to Arkham for 300 years. Good thing I didn't get life. Well, why don't you? What is it, Lois? Look, look, over on the hillside, overlooking the violent wards. Hey, guard, hey, turn off the intercom, or speak up, will ya? The monster is holding? He's aiming it at the second floor! Hit the arm! Now this sounds more like it. Incoming! Oh. <laughs> what a mess! <laughs> I spend all day tidying up my cell, and some inconsiderate mischief maker fires a tank round into it! <laughs> I'm gonna make sure they think twice before doing it again. I'm gonna organize a mass protest right here in the bin, and we're gonna take it to the highest authority in Gotham City! In person! <laughs> Look out, world! He's Joker! <laughs> Targeting the Joker's cell was a good idea, Bane. He's smart enough to have released those others. Smart or crazy? How bad is it, Bullock? Bad. I'll tell you, Commission. Montoya was right about them stolen munitions. They sure as hell stayed in Gotham City. 
James, somebody decided to give him to every lunatic in Arkham Asylum. Harvey, look out! One escapee heading your way! Of course, quite a few of these guys are not gonna be running around for too long. Oh, free! Free to gather my legions once more! They thought to imprison a god! Ha! I only had to call down thunderbolts to rescue me from their feeble grasp! They could never contain Maxi Zeus! Hey, uh, Maxi! Yes? Message for you from Mount Olympus! Oh. You gotta have a way with these people. You're sick, Harv. Master Bruce! Uh -huh. Alfred, what is it? Sir, the signal. I would have ignored it, but I've just seen it on the news. Somebody blew a hole in Arkham Asylum this morning. What? Every misfit you've hunted down and had put away in that hell hole is armed and trying to escape. Hello? Hello? This is Jeremiah Arkham. Please, God, they can't have cut the phones already. Help me! Somebody! They're battering down my office door! <laughs> Resume. I'm afraid the prognosis is not good for you anyway. Ah! Batman, the Joker, he's got Jeremiah Arkham in there. Any of your men in the building, Jim? Not yet. Keep it that way till I come out. Dr. Arkham, as a former inmate of this establishment, I want to explain this little leaving present me and the boys are giving you. The straps on the jacket run through the length of phone cord, which in turn uses the desk lamp as a pulley. The plug is used as a toggle, which ties it firmly through the trigger guard. Now for maximum benefit, please keep your whole head in front of the shotgun. Not that you dare to move it anyhow. After all, the point of the exercise is to remove that useless part of your anatomy. Joker, please. Now don't go away. I want to forget you exactly the way you are. <laughs> Commissioner Gordon, can you read me? I'm in the roundhouse, the violent wards. Power's out. I don't like it. Let's try switching the mask to night vision. You'd better call for more body bags, Jim. Some of the inmates couldn't wait to leave the building before they got to work. Did you hear that? Sounded like Jeremiah Arkham to me. Coming from up ahead. Batman, be careful. We don't know how many have escaped and how many more are waiting in there to pounce. Batman's in there now, Bane. Think he knows you did this to him? If I didn't want his blood so badly burned, I could almost pity him. Batman? Batman! Over here, in the security pen. Dr. Arkham? How do you open this cage? Wait, it's booby-trapped. Connected to this restraining suit. The whole thing will blow my head off if either one of us moves to untie it. Uh -huh. Wait a second. Can you move your legs? I don't know. I really can't feel them. The wire's too tight. Okay. Now I've rigged this batarang to sever the wire tying your head to that trigger. The second it hits, you kick yourself backwards in that chair as hard as you can. Got it? Uh, I'll try. What if you miss, Batman? He's dead uh, if I miss. Uh, Here it comes. <laughs> Batman! Thank God! The Joker. Where is he? The wing is deserted. Where are they all holed up? They're gone. They've gone. Don't you understand? Nearly all the criminals in the maximum security area have escaped. Everything you've achieved in your career is Batman. It's gone. All those years spent cleaning up the city. The horrors I've endured to try and set the world a little straighter. Joker, Scarecrow, Ventriloquist, Amygdala, Poison Ivy, Clayface. How many are back out there? How many lives will be forfeit following this escape? Dear God, have I the strength to recapture them all? No, no, no! Joker, ventriloquist and Scarface, Scarecrow, Riddler. Loose in the night, running free in the dark. Most of the worst and more heavily armed, terminally dangerous. Who did this to me? Who broke them out of Ark? My guess is it's the guy I told you about, that man. The one who busted up Killer Croc. Bane. And he's definitely got it in for you. Yes, the one who followed me to the Manklin Brothers hideout. Come on, Robin. If we can't find the devil himself, his progeny are legion enough. The Cavalier. We had five tactical units there, Mayor Kroll, and there was a hostage situation. Why in heaven's name didn't you order your men to shoot to kill, Gordon? It doesn't work that way. My men discharge their firearms only in defense. Then we're going to end up with a lot of dead citizens, Commissioner. Oh. I'll be expecting results. Arrests. A dead-or-alive attitude to getting these maniacs behind bars again. 
or your job's on the line. So we monitor the police band, Batman. What are we looking for? We'll know it when we hear it. And that was it, I'll bet. What was? What's a haberdasheria? Usually a hat shop. Uh-huh. Let's beat the police to the scene. back. Our guest is Dr. Simpson Flanders, noted expert on the criminally insane. Dr. Flanders, your new book criticizes the standards of treatment for offenders serving time in Arkham Asylum. But what exactly do we do with these evil and dangerous people now loose on our streets? <laughs> evil and dangerous are emotive words, Petra. That's why I wrote my book, I'm Sane and So Are You. Uh -huh. We must reach out to these people. They're out there tonight, disoriented, alienated. Mm -hmm. Many of them sharing a terror of the excessive force used in their persecution by the Batman. Yes. Hey, it's Bird. One of our nutcases has made a move against the man. Which one? Mad Hatter. I've sent the Hawk to follow him. Keep me posted. You say it's a hat shop, but where are the hats? The place has been cleaned out. Looks like the first of the major Arkham escapees has made his move. What's this? A note addressed to the Batman? Uh-huh. Hold on to your hats, Jervis Tetch. Request the pleasure of your company at a tea party. Date? Tonight? Time? ASAP? Place? Tenniel Estate? Jervis Tetch? The Mad Hatter. And we're to be his guests of honor. We're invited to the Mad Hatter's tea party. Yes. And it's not polite to be late. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. If you would be good enough to don the party hats, you'll find at your place settings, the fun will begin. What's wearing hats got to... I said put on the hats! Okay, okay, Mr. Hatter. Oh, that's better. Now it looks like a party. And as I have now refined the mind control transmitters inside your headgear to voice activation, it only remains to say hats induce trance. Can you hear me, basket cases? We hear you, Hatter. Perfect. Our first item of business is to be delegated to Film Freak. Are you in there, Film Freak? When you need me, just whistle, Blue Eyes. Yes, someone sprung us from Arkham on purpose, Film Freak. That's right, Toto. We're not in Kansas anymore. Someone wants to use us like puppets, stealing my shtick. Do you know how I know this? Oh, you know this, Kimosabe. A little bird told me. Actually, a great big bird, species of falcon, been following me around all day. Here, this is a homing tracker. The device I put on that thing's leg will give you its location. When you find out who the bird belongs to, kill! him, then we can get on with taking over the city. Okay, little britches. Saddle up and move out. Now, a spot of tea. Who'll be mother? I take mine without milk, Hatter. Got a diet soda? Why, it's our guest of honor. At last, we can start the party games. Hats stimulate adrenal cortexes. Robin, wait there is back up. Yeah, come on, come on. Hey, we got trouble. There's some kind of homing device on Talon's leg. There's someone across the street casing this joint. Ah, it's one of the Arkham inmates. The one who calls himself Film Freak. You stay here while... <laughs> Kill him. Film Freak to Hara. Film Freak to Hara. Mm, come in, Hara. Batman! How long does the backup hold back? Till the outcome is... Yeah. No, no, Batman! You won the battle, but lost the war! I'll take that gun, Hatter! Ah. Nice work. Now I'm cross! You've ruined the party! Film freak to Hatter, come in, please! This guy's got a walkie-talkie in his hat! Who busted you out of Arkham, Hatter? How should I know, Batman? Uh, Hatter, can you read me? It's Film Freak. I, I got company. It was Bane, wasn't it? Bane? It was Bane! <laughs> I'm Bane. No, get back. Mother of mercy, is this the end of Freako? Ah! You hear me, Hatter? Your assassin is dead. No. Just like the Batman, you're garbage. Come on, Hatter. I've got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> you look pretty fried yourself, Batman. A whole madhouse yet to hunt down, not to mention Bane. 
Who is it, Montoya? I'd say we've one less Arkham Asylum inmate to look for, Commissioner Gordon. This looks like the one they called Film Freak. Uh, no sign of an entry wound. No evidence a weapon was used, but surely nobody could have done this with their bare fists. What about this Bane guy? Wait a minute. Joker, Scarecrow, Firefly, Ventriloquist. I, mean, I, I got a potential perpetrator right here. Amygdala. Amygdala? 400 pounds of muscle. And three brain cells. And all of them wired up wrong. Uh, Sergeant Bullock, got a call through for you. Reported sighting of Arkham SKP, the uh, ventriloquist entering a downtown bar, the tap room. He may be with another one. Amigdal, uh, amid, um, amid, Amygdala? Uh, yeah. There's a rumor Batman's car was seen heading that way. Bingo. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, shut it! What the heck is this? My name is Ventriloquist. This is my friend Sarko. Say hello to the nice people, Sarko. Hello, people. <laughs> Look out, people. We got a weirdo in the joint. He's got a sock on his hand. <laughs> You're talking to yourself, pal. <laughs> We're looking for Scarface. Has anyone here seen him? Hey, mister, if this is a stick-up, you put the sock on your head, not in your hand. <laughs> hey, no, no. Don't upset my friend, Sarko. <laughs> You're making a big mistake laughing at me. Oh, oh yeah. Because <laughs> oh, this is my friend, the Dick Dalla, and he's a very dick. You're laughing at my little friend. Uh, Nobody uh, laughs at my little friend. ETA at tap room three minutes. I'd prefer to be acting more and reacting less, Robin, but there's no rhyme or reason to any of this chaos following the Arkham Asylum breakout. Are we being followed? So you spotted the bird. That's some kind of hawk, isn't it, Batman? A falcon. There was one circling in Tunnel Park earlier, before Bane killed Film Freak. Either that's two in one night, or... Good observation. You follow the bird, I will deal with Ventriloquist. Hey! Oh. Ventriloquist! Can I have my sock back? Oh. Is it time for my... <coughs> medicine yet? This isn't working. Oh. We'll never find Scarface oh. this way. Maybe it's time you found a new partner. How can you say that? I'm nothing without Scarface. You think so, old buddy? What do you mean? Did you hear that? What? Sounded like a car pulling up to me. All right, Ventriloquist. You didn't trash this place on your own. Behind you, dead man. <laughs> Can't breathe. Bird, report. Talon led us right to them, Bane. <whistles> Batman and, and the boy. boy. Robin, Robin can't be far away. You ain't kidding, pal. He's right overhead. And at this very moment, Batman's getting the beating of his life in that bar down there. Batman make Amygdala so angry! Want my medicine? Take pain away! Want my medicine now! I have your medicine right here. One down, but the ventriloquist got away. Maybe Robin had more luck. Batman's at the end of his rope. He hasn't even run up against the Major League crazies that we let out of Arkham, and already he's looking beat. We will let him run a little more of the gauntlet. I want to know his most extreme limits of endurance. This is not good. After all, this is the man who stands between me and Gotham City. Robin's a Batman on closed channel. Are you reading me? Batman! Oh, God. I better get out of here. And I'm taking no chances. Better use an underground route back to the car. What is it, Bane? Did you hear something? Overhead. I can't see nothing. Uh, back to the Chuck Dixon show. Our guest is Dr. Simpson Flanders. He's here to try and make sense of this whole Arkham situation. Dr. Flanders, we got streets full of wackos with assault rifles, and you think you have a solution? Well, as I reveal in my book, I'm sane, and so are you. The mentally divergent should be made to feel at ease in our environment. Climate of mistrust can make them insecure in their choice of lifestyle. We've got a body count close to triple digits, Dr. Flanders. That's a lifestyle. This was a dumb idea. Boy wonder. Should have stayed put till Bane and his boys moved off. Above ground. Oh, it smells bad enough. But the sewer's like a labyrinth. And I have a big feeling I'm being... Oh, followed! Robin, 
Your efforts at concealment were adequate to deceive my partners, but I am different. Bane! I am very curious about you. You ate the Batman, and yet you are just a boy. Yeah, uh, find myself hanging around the uh, weirdest people. At your age, I learned to kill. Why? Uh, Robin to Batman on Ghost Channel. Batman, if you can hear this, I'm in the city sewer. Bane and Killer Croc are duking it out down here, and I'm stuck in the middle. Batman, great. Whichever sicko wins this contest, I lose. Whoa, what's that noise? Uh, you pay for breaking my arms. You're in my world now, Bane. I will swim out of here, freak. Your corpse will float to the East River. Uh, Bane's not kidding. It's high tide about now, and here it comes. Mr. Deadweiler? Mr. Deadweiler returning at all? Good evening, Mr. Detweiler. Sorry to have had to break into your apartment like this, but... We need your help! Yeah, get that sock off your hand and we'll talk, ventriloquist. Holy, I, I thought Arkham Asylum was supposed to unscramble your brains. Tell him, Sarko. We want to know where Scarface got to. This is all about Scarface? That stupid puppet you call your boss? You're nuts! Why should I help you find anything? You'll do it because this gun is loaded and bullets make nasty holes, Detweiler. Darned if you do, darned if you don't. That suck humor, Counselor. Go away. Who's there? Joe. Joe who? Joe? Curse. You. What do you want? <laughs> Come now, Scarecrow, old friend. This doesn't bode well for us being partners, does it? Partners? May we. Gotham City is running scared of its own shadow. I methought myself to team up with someone who knows a trick or two about fear and how to inspire it. We could carve up this town. You, with your fear gas. Me, with my charisma. We'll start by dealing with Commissioner Gordon. Gordon? Small potatoes. Let's deal with the organ grinder, not his monkey. Oh, 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 very good. Yes, 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 indeed. Oh, yes. Oh. You could have drowned. I don't want you confronting Bane again. Like that's on my wish list. <laughs> when the outflow washed me into the storm drain, I was only sorry to see him crawl out further down. Ow, Alfred, that's hot. Breathe the vapors, Master Tim. You'll be lucky to escape with pneumonia. Whatever his yearning for power, he's developed a darker purpose. Sure he has. To destroy you. And you're falling for it. There's no alternative. I cannot, will not, let the maniacs take over. But uh, how about drafting some help? Uh, Asriel, maybe? Jean-Paul is formed, maybe even up to the task. But Bane is after me. And as long as I am still standing, this is my business. The entire Arkham breakout's been mishandled from the beginning, Gordon. And if you don't do something about it in 24 hours, I'm asking the governor to break out the National Guard. Mayor Kroll, if you do that... All I have to do to make things happen is pick up the phone. And that includes trashing your career. Those of the customers present at the taproom bar during the frenzied attack by Arkham escapee Amygdala, who were even willing to talk, indicated that Gotham City's Batman was looking tired after he subdued the former asylum inmate. The plan is working. You sure, Bane? He still succeeded. He put another one back in Arkham. But the cost to him is high, both physical and mental. He is reeling, and soon he will be ready to fall. Exiting Ellsworth Plaza. Monitoring police frequencies. Racing from the grave. Already feel dead, but I can't rest. Not after the Arkham breakouts. Attention all units. Mr. Zez, serial killer. Recently escaped from uh, Arkham Asylum. Hold up in Bates School for Women. Hostages. Send tactical squads at once. No rest for the wicked, nor those who dare deal with them. Oh, Mr. Mayor! Howdy, Joker time! 
smell! Horrible! Can't stop the nightmare! No! No, you're not real! Oh, yes, but we are real, Mr. Mayor. Very real, as your bodyguards downstairs could attest. Were they still capable of speech? Ah, no! This is wonderful, Scarecrow! The gas has reduced him to a gibbering wreck! What, what, what do you want? It's time to exercise a little executive power, Mayor Crawl. You just have to pick up the phone. And we'll do the rest. Please, let me go. Quiet. Uh, consider the arm that chokes you. You see the marks? Self-inflicted, every one. All lovingly etched. Souvenirs to take everywhere of my every sin, my glory, and you are about to be honored with your own. Not that I'm judge. You're under arrest. Montoya, no! I don't go or I shoot. Back up, now, on the second floor. You daren't shoot, pretty cop. My reflex would still cut her throat. Damn. Okay, take me then instead. There's the gun. Very good. Very trusting. Come here. Ah, fool. I shall make an extra deep cut for you. Enough blood, Judge. Enough blood, Batman? There's never enough blood. No! Once this is a slip of the knife, and the pretty cop gets it. Batman, I tried bargaining with him. Exchange myself for the hostage. You did your best, Officer Montoya. I did your best? As if you were a cop? You're not. You're just like me. A stalker, a predator, and you love it. Don't you, Batman? Here, sicko! You... Montoya! Go! You're just like me. We're both bound for hell! No, I'm not like you. Kill her. Not... All right, stop it! That's enough! I've got him, Batman! Enough! Enough? No. Too much. Way too much. We now join the Link Rambo show already in progress. Let me get this straight, Dr. Flanders. You're saying it's our fault that these maniacs loose on the streets are tearing Gotham apart? Absolutely. As I state in my book, I'm sane and so are you. Our entire culture is aberrant. These people are merely the symptoms. Symptoms? Oh, ventriloquist, please! If I help you find your Scarface puppet, I'm an accomplice. A man of principle. Are you sure you're a lawyer? Oh, please come out from behind that sofa. These handcuffs are really cutting into my... Really? Oh, oh, no. At least I could understand the sock. Oh, I'm still here, Counselor. The dog we picked up at a toy store on the way over. Jeez. I can't control him, Counselor. He's a wild duck. I'm not sure where he'd be. I, I, I guess he's still in the evidence store of the precinct where you, where the ventriloquist was arrested. But you'd need a policeman to get it released. And we have no problem. Don't understand. Where's the duck gone? Oh, no. A cop puppet. Yep. We found Officer O'Hara in the toy store along with the duck. That they did, me boy, you. Oh, that they did. I'm your man. That I am. Time to make another phone call, me a crawl. Or would you prefer a fear game? <laughs> oh, absolutely, Scarecrow. We want to reach out and crush someone. Our plans call for utter chaos. Yes! Mayor Crawl! What if you called the president of the Firefighters Union and told them you were thinking of cutting them? Hey! No, <laughs> no! Uh, they'd strike for certain! Good! Good! You see, I have an old cellmate who benefit greatly from that. His name is Garfield Lind. He used to work in the movies, an expert in pyrotechnics. Setting fire to things became a bit of an obsession to him. Excellent. The firefly! It's gonna be a hot time in old Gotham tonight! <laughs> Approaching St. Elmo's Pier. Releasing drill brakes. Garfield Linz, the firefly, loose in the city's oldest amusement park. Three acres of old wooden structures in the fire department on strike. At least you've included me in on this one. At least you'll have some help. You're not here to help, Robin. You're here to watch and learn. Mm -hmm. You're still in training. What? There he is. Firefly. Ah! <laughs> 
My flames, the beauty, dance, yes, yes, dance! <laughs> Incredible. How are we gonna get him down from the roller coaster track? Stay with the car. I don't like this. You don't have to. You barely escaped Killer Croc and that monster Bane. Your luck can't hold forever. And yours can? Stand back while I fire the grapnel up there. Batman, please! Welcome to my inferno, Batman! Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Drop the flamethrower, Linz. Oh, no! I could never do that! Now that you're here! There's no way down from here except with me, Firefly. Oh, I have my own escape route, thank you. Burn brightly now! Oh, cape smoldering. Batman! Catch! What? Grab the line! Slide down! This is quite a training session for me. I hate to see what you look like. Lost him. Lost the element of surprise. Lost the perpetrator. Could it be you're pushing too hard? I have to push hard. The police are at full stretch, and Gotham is going to hell at the hands of an army of maniacs led by Bane. So the best way to tackle this is to throw yourself after them? No time, no time. We have to react wherever they surface. But that's the exact opposite of everything you've taught me. All right. Firefly is yours, Robin. Do the footwork. Dig into the files back at the cave. Try and get a 20 on it. Doors open. <laughs> You got it, Batman. I'm going to talk to Gordon downtown, if there is a town left, with Firefly running loose. Let's go. So, that's a letter G, E, and an... Got it. A T. Riddler, we're wasting our time here. There. Police headquarters, Gotham City, urgent. Oh, if I say so myself, nobody can make an extortion note a work of art like I can. Is that the hold up? We gotta send these cops some damn clue to the heist after we go through the trouble of organizing getaway cars, building brands, you name it? Yeah, after we try to keep it a secret. Crime is an art. It shouldn't be all drudgery. It demands flair. Wit. Flair? Don't give yourself a headache. Stand here, tie this letter to a brick and throw it through police headquarters window. You'll enjoy it. Oh, okay. Several calls from Dr. Kim solving while you were out, Master Bruce. Chandra, and you told her? That you were far too busy exhausting yourself gallivanting about in a mask and boots to speak to her. Very funny. Is there anything to eat? I need some breakfast. You also need 16 hours sleep, a three-month vacation, a blood transfusion, and full psychiatric examination. Alfred? And uh, where is Master Tim this fine afternoon? At home, I hope. Using his computer skills to run down a little background for me. Email to Cave Computer. Urgent message to Batman from Robin. Security scramble code three. Tim, you in your room? Yes, Dad. Quick, quick, quick. Garfield Lenz, Firefly, adopted at birth. No living relatives. And, digging deep into this early stuff, before his career in pyrotechnics even began, there's two places he's been fixated on since he was a kid. His adoptive parents refused for some reason to take him there. The first was St. Elmo's Pier. The second, Gotham City Zoo. Tim? <sighs> Track this wheelchair? Send. Here, Dad. Let me help. No, no, I gotta get used to this thing. Dr. Kinsolving said it'd become second nature, but I don't know. Maybe I should see a regular doctor after all. I thought you said she was good. You recommended her to Bruce. He seems to think highly of her. How is Bruce? I must pay a neighborly visit sometime. Although he's a busy man running around the society pages with all those bimbos. Amazing his businesses stay afloat. Uh, he has people to handle a lot of that everyday stuff, I guess. Bane, do you read me? I read you, Bird. Tailed Batman to the city zoo. Somebody must have tipped him off about Firefly being here. Except the big guy's got trouble. He's in a fight with another Arkham escapee, and Firefly ain't even showed yet. Stay watching, Bird. I want a full report. Three years, Batman! Three years I have rotted in Arkham Asylum, planning your death! Just put the sword down, Cavalier, and nobody will get hurt. Hurt? Who are you, fool? I'm going to kill you! Ah! 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 Get out, Riddler! Oh! We planned this job to a T. Everything ready to go? Everything in place? But do we make our move? No! We gotta wait till you send out your stupid riddle! Yeah, so we're pulling this job tonight. And if it has to be over your dead body, then that's how it's gonna be! Ah! Oh, you'll be sorry! You'll be sorry! It's my crime! 
mine! <laughs> Just because the cops ignored the riddle, they were too busy to read it. But I'll take my puzzles to the masses. You'll see! Drop the sword, Cavalier. First blood to me! Ha-ha! Defend yourself, Batman! You face an expert swordsman! Ha-ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha! I have a good time for this! Ha-ha! 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 You broke my nose, you can! A minor league maniac. <laughs> but I even had trouble with him. And I came here to take Firefly down. You're getting to be a pest, Batman. Speak of the devil. Fascinating to watch you deal with that idiot. But let me tell you a thing or two. I'm not one of those Arkham inmates who obsessed over you day and night. In fact, I'll get along quite nicely without your interference. So I've decided to cremate you. <laughs> ah, the flamethrower's heat is overwhelming. It saps my last reserve of strength, but I'm not burning. This time I came prepared. You've spoiled enough of my fun, Batman! Fifteen layer Nomex and a rebreather don't give me the edge. Oh, but they they let me survive. Oh. <laughs> you know, Scarecrow, I like the mayor's residence. I may even move in here permanently. Of course, a few things will have to change. Every once in a while, the mayor would have to stop screaming. Shut up! <laughs> let me go, Joker! <laughs> A little more fear gas for the mayor, I think. Time for him to make another phone call. Absolutely. Now that we have the police department running around like headless chickens, it's time to lay our egg. So, Dr. Flanders, you say that these escapees are merely troubled children searching for meaning in their lives. Oh, yes, Cassie. As I stated in my new book, I'm sane and so are you. Wow. This guy's getting a lot of mileage from the Arkham breakout. Indeed, Master Tim. And he is... Some psychiatrist who thought he could cure everyone in the violent ward. A born optimist. Wait! That guy she's approaching in the audience. I see him. Riddler! And that's a detonator in his hand! You're driving the van. That show airs live. No, 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 please, not again, please. Phone calls to Mayor Crow and meet us here in the Mother Goose amusement park. The screaming is coming from the slot arcade, Bullock. Somebody's got him in there. Sounds like he's being tortured. It sounds like he's being murdered, Commissioner. Should I take a look? No. Send in the SWAT team. Yeah. Now. Pocket, go. Go boy and kiss him for me. I don't like this. The Riddler hijacks a TV studio back in central Gotham, and we're lured into a situation way out here in Evanstown. Montoya's covering the Riddler commission, but he ain't got the only game in town. Batman's out chasing Firefly. Who knows which nuts pulling this job? Yeah, Gordon speaking. Commissioner Gordon, SWAT team safely in yet? Oh, my God. Get those men out of there! Too late, sucker! Yes! <laughs> Your best phone call so far, Mayor Crawl. Oh. Happy Scarecrow. I love the simple ones, Joker. <laughs> Good, because the best is yet to come. <laughs> this TV show is going out live, right, Cassie? Uh, yes. Yes, Riddler. Yes, Riddler. Good. I want to get a large audience, but having me on the show rigged with this bomb should win tonight's battle of the ratings, don't you think? I'm, uh, reasonably certain. And your guest, Dr. Simpson Flanders, I've met before at Arkham Asylum. That's right, Eddie. <gasps> oh! And you've written a little book. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm sane and so are you. That's right, Eddie. Well, you couldn't have written it with me in mind. <laughs> Excuse me. Because I'm not sane and I never will be. Isn't that right, Doc? I, um... And here's another one for the folks at home. What begins with a P and ends with an E and has thousands of letters in it. I cut the two. Camera three, oh, no, loosen that shot on Flanders. Oh. I want to cut to you the moment he shows up. We're three minutes to network commercial, Officer Montoya, but Riddler says if we cut a picture from the studio, he'll release that button and turn Cassie into wallpaper. Yeah, that's why we can't use a marksman. He releases his grip. Boom! Yeah. Just keep going till the hostage negotiation uh -huh. Camera five, pan wide and swing left. He... Oh, heck, I, I thought I saw that kid who's supposed to work with the Batman. The one they call Robin? Here in the TV studio? Yeah, red top, black cape with a yellow lining. If Robin is here, where's Batman? <sighs> Mad Hatter. Amygdala, film freak, cavalier, and firefly. Mostly second stringers, and they nearly took me out. The really dangerous ones are still on the street, and beyond that, the one who planned all this. 
Who will stand between Gotham and Bane? Yes, Jim? Thank God. Batman, we're en route to Mayor Kroll's residence. Pretty sure Joker and the Scarecrow are holding him hostage, or worse. I'll be there. Any sign of Riddler? He made his move earlier. Hijacked a TV show. Montoya's on the scene. Thinks Robin's there. Robin? Up against Riddler alone. He's not ready. And I can't do a thing to help him. Come on! Who's going to solve my riddle? A whole TV studio audience and none of you can take a guess? It begins with a P. It ends with an E. It's got thousands of letters in it. I should have picked another show to debut my crime on. Maybe Enrico Rivoli or our... Oh. Post office. It's got thousands of letters. Huh? Robin? Oh, that does it. I'm releasing the button. You're all just... Oh, 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 what is this stuff? Oh, get it off my hand! Just a little fast-acting epoxy to keep that hand from relaxing, Riddler. Oh. You're gonna wanna bomb in the ratings, right? Yeah? Well, the gag's on you, kid! <laughs> this bomb's just a set of chair rails wrapped in electric tape! What? Oh, did I waste your time? Had to duck out of a hot date tonight? Thanks, Robin. <laughs> I got him covered now. Keep your hands in the air, Riddler. Oh, oh, Come on, oh, oh, this way. Hands off of me. Was this all a wild goose chase? Did I screw up? Batman's somewhere out there facing real danger. And I'm the victim of a classroom prank. Commissioner Gordon, we got a problem. I'd say so, O'Neill. The Joker and Scarecrow are holding the mayor hostage in his own mansion, unless you have a worse problem. They're not in there anymore. The bomb squad think the place is booby-trapped and say it'll take an hour to get in. Where's Bullock? That's the other problem. Sergeant Bullock told the bomb squad to shove it, and he was going in anyway. Oh, my God. There he is, by the side entrance. Bullock! Okay, Commish. The door wouldn't be open if the place was rigged, right? <laughs> Wrong. Hold tight, Bullock. Battle! <laughs> Could have waited. There might have been clues. Are you two all right? I'm alive. Thanks to the Batman. Commissioner, I got a report in of an explosion at the harborside toll booth of the Gotham River Tunnel. Uh, should I send the... Uh... Damn phone. Commissioner Gordon speaking. Gordon, help me. Joker and Scarecrow don't know I'm making this call. They've got a rocket launcher. We're at the River Tunnel entrance. They just took out the... Very nicely done, Mayor Crow. Very convincing. You make the perfect bait. What bait? I thought this was a diversion. A diversion, Scarecrow? No, 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 no. We're going to kill the Batman! No way! When we combine forces, we agree to destroy the whole city, not just one man. But the city, you straw-stuffed simpleton, is Batman. He'll be on his way now, expecting a trap. And we, with Mayor Kroll, of course, will spring it. A trap? Using the river tunnel? Look at the cars in there. Of course. Hand me the rocket launcher, if you please, Mayor Kroll. Never. Fear gas, please, Go, Kroll. Oh, <laughs> here you go. Thank you. <clears throat> this is the Joker's recipe for reducing air pollution in Gotham City. To rid the east side of noisy, smelly traffic, simply take one heat-seeking projectile, close the eyes, pull the trigger, and hottest engine wins! <laughs> this tunnel gives me the creeps. Looks like the mouth of hell itself. The power's out, Montoya, that's all. But it could be another booby trap, Commission. I'm aware of that, Sergeant Bullock. But if Mayor Kroll is really in there, I'll find him. And I'll bring him out. Batman! You know it's a trap. Of course it is. Wait here. Traffic is now backed up for six miles on the bay side of the tunnel as police try to determine the cause of the multiple explosions. The far end of the tunnel is sealed off by a special squad led by Police Commissioner James Gordon. Fresh rumors of Batman's presence at the cordoned off end of the tunnel are still unsubstantiated. Not bad, huh, Payne? Joker and the Scarecrow do combine well for chaos. With more discipline, they might have taken the city, but I reserve that right for myself. You figure the Batman will stop them? He had better, because once he gets through that tunnel, he runs out. Our gauntlet. Nearly a mile into the tunnel, and a blackness so intense even my night lenses can't make out an image. And yet I know, I can feel that I am being watched. <laughs> Is it so long since I last heard the laughter? Hello, Batman. Eat fear gas. <laughs> Oh. oh, Mom, give him the pearls. Mom, no, no, got to be strong. This is the fear gas. But is the figure before me real? 
Let's see! You're real? Now, now, Batman. Temper, temper. Joker. You idiot scarecrow! The fear gas only made him mad! In that case, let's blast him to Guano! Not the rocket launcher! This tunnel's under the river! You... You drown us all! The roof collapses as tons of river water flood the tunnel. And I have a choice. To seize the Joker or grab Mayor Kroll. But what choice do I really have? Joker's probably giggling himself sick right now. Maybe he'll laugh himself to death. But I must get air. <laughs> Mayor Kroll, are you okay? I'll get you out of here. Excuse us, my lad. I have some property you'll be holding here at the evidence store. What? Uh, oh. <coughs> yeah, uh, you got a claim number and a court date. That I do, me boy, oh. <coughs> hey, where are you? Will you can the stupid brogue and walk into the light? Sure, I can do just that. Oh, my God. A puppet cop and... Ventral! <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, Sergeant. And goodbye, Ventriloquist. Goodbye, O'Hara. And hello, Scarface. Hey, where the hell you been, bum? All these months, I'm rotten gathering dust in some stinking police pound. I'm sorry, Scarface. It won't happen again. You better won't, pal. Not with Scarface back taking care of business. Damn it! Were we wrong? River cops are circling the area around the blast, Commissioner. What's the point, Montoya? If his honor was down in that tunnel when it blew, he's retired from office. Permanent. Bullock! Now, who thought they saw a body floating toward this bank? Oh. Commissioner, over here! There's Mayor Kroll! I'll send for the paramedics. Your Honor, how did you escape the tunnel? We almost gave you up. Uh, he never gave up. The Batman? Grabbed me in his cape. It, it formed an air pocket. <coughs> well, he swam to an emergency hatchway. It was jammed, but he opened it somehow. His lungs must have been bursting. He he never gave up. Where is he now? Does he need help? He must, but he staggered away. I heard his car start up. Guess he's gone home to rest. God knows he needs it. Don't remember getting to the car. Recall the ride home only in snatches. The cave. Home. Can't wear this costume in the house, promised Alfred. But where is Alfred? Oh, concentrate. Nearly at the Batcave access door. The clock hand said at the precise hour my parents were murdered. And it's unlocked. Strange. Not like Alfred, too. <laughs> Alfred? I left him alive, Mr. Bruce Wayne. It is not your underlings I want, Batman. Bane! In Wayne Manor! It is you! And you will scream my name! Bane, here in Wayne Manor, you... you know who I am. My senses are quickened in ways which give me insights denied to other men. Insights which ensure my survival, for no disguise can hide my enemies from me. This Bruce Wayne is nothing but a mask, which no longer serves your purposes, Batman. What has all this been about? Freeing the inmates from Arkham. Watching me wear myself down trying to recapture them. I was a child in a jail filled with the dregs of the earth. But a vision sustained me that I would survive those days of terror, those nights of fitful dark dreams, when dark winged creatures would torment me. And that one day I would rule a great city the way I ruled that jail, by defeating the dark winged creature that haunted my tortured nights. You would kill just. A... I would kill for anything. I would kill to silence a grating voice, to darken the light in eyes that dared look at me. Yours is a madness. I cannot allow to run free. You must be brought down, whatever the cost. You will pay dearly. Oh, Ribcon. Master Bruce. Oh, Alfred, save yourself. Run. Ah! Oh. 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 I'm child's play for this monster. 
burned out from a thousand desperate fights. Ah, racing for death my whole life. A life begotten in death. The pearls, lady. Hand them over. Hey, don't you touch my wife, you... Tyler, no, wait! Oh, oh, oh. Thomas! Fighting to the death down in the cave, and Master Bruce is completely spent. Let's get help. Next door. Fetch Timothy before it's too late. Warning. Seismic anomaly detected in that cave. This is over. You are nothing. Robin. Beg for mercy. Scream my name. Go. Go to hell. You want death? I deny it to you. Instead, I will raise you up and I will break you. Broken and done.